we're going to be spraying some nascent base coat, clear coat, and we're going to be trying a relatively inexpensive gun from Campbell Housefield. After remasking and cleaning the car up, we can blow off any dust. Next, we'll use some wax and grease remover to remove any dust or grime. And we'll, I have some in a bottle, and we'll just lightly dampen the cloth and go over it real quick with that and pick up any any uh, dust or grime. And it's not it's not very wet. I already wiped this down with wax and grease remover before starting. So right now we're just sort of focusing on. Picking up the dust. That little bit of <clears throat> dampness helps to pick up the dust. Next, I'm going to use a dry, clean hand, and while I'm blowing, I'm wiping with my hand. You don't have to do this if you feel that you're going to get fish eyes, but I think it gives me a nice, clean paint job. Last, we'll hit it with a tack cloth to make sure we get every last remaining bit of dust. And you just wipe this over nice and light. You don't have to hardly press at all. We're going to start with one coat of sealer to darken it up a bit, and this is the pattern we'll be using. First coat will be a light coat just to get the paint to stick. second coat will be a medium wet coat. The last coat will be a medium wet coat with the addition of a mist coat or drop coat to make sure the metallic flakes are evenly distributed.
We're going to use the same gun for the clear, and the first coat is just going to be a tack coat. We're going to put two wet ones on after that. And now for two wet coats of clear, and I did put a little, tie a little rag around this because I did see it leak out of this lid, and I don't want to take any chances. And we're using the same gun. One small tip that may help save a paint job is to check for leaks before spraying hoods, roofs, or deck lids. In that situation you'll be spraying like this, so if you have a full cup it just might leak out of the lid, either from the vent or the threads. So if you do have a leak, you can tie a rag around it like that, and if it does leak, this rag will catch it. Now, if you're using a conventional gun, you can tie it like that. And so when you're painting a hood, if it does leak out, you have this little bib that can help save your paint job. I hope you enjoyed this video on spraying nascent base coat clear coat and trying out the CH general purpose spray gun for right around 30 bucks. If you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.